From rich cultural heritage to cutting edge technology, Seoul is a city that seamlessly blends the old with the new. Korean popularity is exploding and now is the perfect time to visit Seoul. There are hundreds of things to see and to do here and we want to help you make the most of your Seoul vacation. So today we are giving you a list of the top 10 must do experiences you should do in Seoul, South Korea that is perfect for a five day itinerary. Gyeongbok Palace is one of the most iconic landmarks in South Korea and should be an essential destination for anyone visiting Seoul for the first time. This palace is the largest of the five grand palaces in Seoul and was built during the Joseon dynasty in the late 14th century. The palace grounds include several gardens, pavilions, and other structures that are all designed in the traditional Korean style and offer visitors a peaceful and relaxing environment to explore. Many visitors to the palace often dress in traditional Korean clothing, which can be rented from surrounding shops. This traditional clothing is called hanbo and can be rented hourly or daily for very reasonable prices. Also, visitors wearing hanbo can enter the palace for free. In addition to the main palace complex, the grounds of Gyeongbokgung also include the National Palace Museum of Korea. The museum features a vast collection of artifacts and artworks from the Joseon dynasty, and offers visitors the opportunity to learn more about Korean history and culture. Visitors of the palace can also witness the changing of the guard ceremony, which takes place several times throughout the day. Gyeongbok Palace is a must-visit destination in Seoul and offers stunning beauty throughout any season during the year. The Blue House, officially named Cheongwa Day, is a public park that formerly served as the executive office and official residence of the President of South Korea. In 2022, the newest president decided to move out of the Blue House and open it up to the public. The buildings here are built largely in the traditional Korean architectural style, with some modern architectural elements and facilities. The grounds of the Blue House consist of several different estate buildings, including the former residence of the president, as well as gardens and historical and religious sites. The complex is free to visit and tour and also includes a mountain trail that can give visitors a beautiful view of Seoul, as well as the grounds of the Blue House below. The Blue House is conveniently located just behind Gyeongbok Palace and is an essential visit for anyone visiting Seoul for the first time. Seoul Tower, also known as Namsan Tower or In Seoul Tower, is a standout landmark within Seoul. Located on Namsan Mountain, the tower stands at a height of 236 meters, offering stunning panoramic views of the city skyline. There are many ways to access the tower, including by bus, cable car, or by hiking to the top of the mountain. The hiking trails leading up to the tower are lush with nature and are particularly popular during the spring cherry blossom season and the autumn foliage season. Another reason why people visit Seoul Tower is for its romantic atmosphere. Couples can attach love locks on the fence near the tower as a symbol of their love and enjoy a romantic dinner at one of the restaurants in the tower while enjoying the stunning views. In addition to its observation deck and romantic atmosphere, Seoul Tower also offers a variety of entertainment options. The tower has several shops selling souvenirs, snacks, and beverages, as well as an art gallery. The tower itself consists of a two-story observation deck that offers a 360-degree view of Seoul. Seoul Tower is another must-visit location in Seoul and offers some of the best views of the city you will find whether during the day or at night. The Dongdae Moon Design Plaza is not just a building but a work of art. Its fluid lines and futuristic curves make it a true masterpiece of contemporary architecture that captivates and inspires visitors. It is especially captivating at night, as the soft glow of the lighting makes it perfect for pictures or for just simply soaking in its neo-futuristic atmosphere. The motto for DDP is Dream, Design, Play, and all of the activities involved with DDP reflect this idea. Inside DDP is a hub of creativity, culture, and innovation. The space hosts a variety of exhibitions, workshops, and events that showcase the best of Korean art and design. 
With multiple floors of galleries and installations, there's always something new to see and experience here. DDP also has plenty of options for food, drink, and unique shopping. There are cafes, restaurants, and even a rooftop garden where you can relax and enjoy the views of the city. DDP is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art, design, or culture. Its unique architecture, versatile space, and varied programming make it a true gem in Seoul's cultural landscape. The Han River flows through the city of Seoul and offers a range of activities for tourists and locals alike, making it one of the most popular destinations in the city. One of the main reasons why the Han River is so popular among tourists is the beautiful scenery it offers. Visitors can take a stroll along the riverbanks or cycle on the designated bike paths while enjoying the various views of the city skyline and the surrounding mountains. There are numerous parks throughout Seoul that offer access to the river and provide great places to enjoy activities such as picnics by the river. Public drinking is also allowed in Korea, so having a few beers with friends is always a popular choice for visitors and locals alike. Another popular activity is taking a leisurely cruise along the river, where you can see some of Seoul's most famous landmarks while also enjoying food and live music. If you'd like to live life like a local or simply enjoy some beautiful nature while in Seoul, then visiting the Han River through various parks or walking paths is a must when putting together your itinerary. Lotte Tower is a 123-story skyscraper located south of the Han River in Seoul. It is the sixth tallest building in the world and a popular tourist destination that offers a range of entertainment, shopping, and cultural experiences. One of the main reasons why Lotte Tower is so popular among tourists is its observation deck called Seoul Sky. It is located on the 117th floor of the tower and offers magnificent panoramic views of the city skyline. Visitors can take in the breathtaking views while enjoying a cup of coffee or a meal at the cafe or restaurant. Another reason why people visit Lotte Tower is for its shopping mall. The mall features over 100 stores, including luxury brands and apartment stores. Visitors can also find a range of restaurants, cafes, and food courts serving Korean and international cuisine. Lotte Tower is also home to various entertainment attractions, such as the Lotte World Aquarium and the Lotte World Theme Park. Lotte World Tower is a great hub for shopping and entertainment in Seoul, and is a great destination due to its status as one of the largest buildings in the world. The Changichan is a public recreation space and stream located in the heart of Seoul. The stream stretches for over 10 kilometers and is a symbol of the city's commitment to sustainability and urban revitalization. The stream is surrounded by a network of pedestrian paths and bridges that offer stunning views of the stream and the city. Visitors can walk along the stream and enjoy the peaceful atmosphere while admiring the beautiful landscaping and architectural designs. One of the most impressive features of the Changichan stream is the variety of public art and cultural exhibitions that are displayed throughout the area. The stream is a hub for cultural events and festivals and always hosts the Lotus Lantern Festival, which sees the stream filled with beautiful lanterns that tell about traditional Korean stories and folklore. Whether you are looking for a peaceful retreat or an exciting cultural experience, the Changichan stream offers something for everyone. Coex, located in the Gangnam district of Seoul, is a popular tourist destination that offers a range of entertainment, shopping, and cultural experiences. The complex consists of a convention and exhibition center, a shopping mall, a movie theater, and an aquarium, making it a one-stop destination for many tourists. The Starfia Library is definitely one of the most popular destinations within Coex. It is known for its unique design and vast collection of books. It is a large open space that features floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, comfortable seating areas, and natural lighting. Visitors come to the library to relax, read, and take photos in the stunning atmosphere. The mall features over 260 stores, including luxury brands, department stores, and local shops. Visitors can also find a range of restaurants, cafes, and food courts serving Korean and international cuisine. 
In addition to its shopping and entertainment offerings, Coex is also conveniently located near other popular tourist destinations, such as the Statue of Gangnam Style, which is dedicated to the South Korean music hit. Coex is another highlight for visitors looking to explore the areas south of the Han River and Seoul. Chogesa is a Buddhist temple located in the heart of Seoul and is considered one of the most significant temples in the country and is a popular tourist destination for both locals and foreigners alike. One of the most striking features of Chogesa Temple is its main hall, which houses one of the largest indoor Buddhist statues in the country. The hall also features intricate wood carvings and murals, which depict important moments in Buddhist history. The temple is also known for hosting numerous cultural events and festivals. The temple hosts several events throughout the year, including lantern festivals and traditional Buddhist ceremonies. These events offer visitors the opportunity to experience traditional Korean culture and learn more about Buddhism. Jokisa is a peaceful retreat in the heart of bustling Seoul and is conveniently located between several popular neighborhoods and tourist destinations. Bukjeon Village is a traditional Korean village that dates back over 600 years and features traditional Korean houses called Hanoks that have been restored and preserved. One of the main reasons why Bukjeon Village is so popular among tourists is its traditional architecture. The village has over 900 Hanoks that have been carefully restored and many have been turned into museums, shops, and cafes. Moreover, Bukjeon Hanok Village is also a popular spot for photography. The village's narrow alleys and traditional hanoks provide a picturesque background for photos. Visitors can also capture stunning panoramic views of the city skyline from the hilltops in the village. The village is conveniently located between many of the palaces and temples also featured on this list, so it is a great place to stop in for some pictures and a cup of tea before continuing on your adventures in the city. Whether you're exploring ancient palaces, sampling mouth-watering street food, or immersing yourself in the vibrant Korean culture, Seoul promises an unforgettable adventure at every turn. We just gave you a top 10 list for your five-day itinerary, but the fun doesn't stop there. We are dedicated to helping you explore all of the wonderful things Seoul has to offer and more. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel guides and tips. If you've got any favorite spots in Seoul or experiences you think we've missed, let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time here at the Seoul Scene.